Welcome back. We are out camping with the bean. We're up in the mountains above our house. This is an area that we couldn't have got our fifth wheel to, uh, and that we've really wanted to come camping at. And with the bean, we can do that. It is just beautiful here. Down at home, it was 100 degrees. Decided, hey, we have to get out of this heat. We hooked on and we came on up here. Up here, it's 79. Now we're just getting everything set up so that way we can kind of get ready for the night. What you doing, Kara? Well, I <clears throat> last minute threw in some soap. <laughs> kind of nice. So just kind of trying to figure out where to put stuff, store stuff still. <laughs> yeah, this is our only our, what, second trip with the bean? Yeah. So we're still figuring it out. <clears throat> I do like that you brought the power wash spray for dishes. Just, yeah. It's gonna make them a lot easier. Yeah, it's quicker, nice. Yeah. So. And so far we're still loving everything on this back kitchen area, right? Yeah. Even more impressed with our cooler. We literally started it like 30 minutes before we left the house. And it was 100 degrees outside. 100 degrees outside. Granted, the trailer has been in the shade. Um, but by the time we left, this was to temp. Yeah, it was at 32 degrees. Yeah, where Goldie, our big fifth wheel, were usually two days before or night before, plugging it in, getting it cool, before I can even consider loading the fridge. Yeah, we One of the biggest questions we've been asked is, well, what about a bathroom? To help with that situation, we have a portable five gallon bucket bathroom set up. So it's just a little toilet seat, goes on top, bag that goes inside that way you can get rid of it all and then it just zip locks up pretty handy now it's not as comfortable as you know a restroom or whatever but this is a nice spot and you don't get this in a traditional rv park or campground so it's just basically a trade-off you know you get this wonderful spot that's free out in the trees but we don't have a bathroom but we got a bucket, so that'll work. Well, now we're sitting here because setup was like seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe 10 had Jesse got all of our solar connections out of the other trailer. So that's something we'll have to remember when we get home. Luckily, we're good on battery. And we have oh. that extra L Safari LT yes. generator thing. We honestly have nothing to run on power other than maybe a night, a light at night. So right? the fridge is the fridge, I guess our fridge. So uh, in the meantime, we are literally sitting here with our feet up uh enjoying this nature not enjoying our neighbor's generator that we can hear down the road you come up here and it's so nice and they have that loud clanging bugger down there which i get it people need to have power i i get it we've ran a generator before but ours is pretty quiet i mean our neighbors wouldn't hear ours no one of the fun things with the channel is we have companies reaching out to us saying, hey, would you like to try this, that, or the other? And most of the time we say, yeah, that's not for us, but Bushcraft sent us some stuff that I thought was really cool. We have this Bigfoot Bushcraft kit, fire plugs, all weather fire starters. Supposedly you can soak these in water and they'll still light. So let's soak it in water and see if it'll still light. This would be great for all those people out backpacking, hiking, you know, scout trips, all those sort of things. And you're going to be dealing with rain. There's nothing worse than being in a situation where you can't get your fire started. Now, luckily for us, we aren't in that situation. We just get to play around with this stuff to see if it'll actually work. And it's always good to, it's always good to test to make sure you know how to use this stuff before you get in the situation that you have to use it. Now, I know this will light because it's dry, but let's see if it'll light if it's wet. So, Kara, do we have a bowl? Gonna get a bowl here. Come around here and get some water. So I'm gonna throw, let's do, think two or three? Two? Okay. 
two should work. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes to make sure they're good and wet. Because it doesn't do any good if they aren't soaked. So that you know that these are sitting in water for a while and that we aren't just BSing you, it is 5.07. Oh, it's 5.07 right now. And after five minutes, we'll go through this and see if it'll start. I don't know if I'm going to use the flint and the steel or Kara gave me a really cool thing for my birthday. This is a little butane torch. It, this is a bunch of fun. I don't know if... That's really hard to see. If the camera's picking it up or not. Don't know if that's picking up, but trust me, nice butane torch. It, it goes out about a good inch, inch and a half. Yeah, it's so much better than your little clickers. A little bit of fun. One of those cool little man gifts, you know? Well, you got two in there, so maybe you can try one on your torch and one on... Yeah, we'll try one with a flint and steel just still. because it comes with it. And we'll do one with the torch. <laughs> Why not? In oh, the meantime. And it's only been two minutes. <laughs> All right, that's time. These have been in here for over five minutes. They should be, I mean, as wet as, as they would get. And let's go see if they'll light on fire with flint and steel and with butane. So go ahead and crack and just keep on wiggling until the fibers back and forth, getting all those fibers. Should I do flint and steel first or butane? I, I mean, it is a little windy, but I think it'll be all right. Let's it try. Be fine. Let's try flint and steel. I've never used it before. Holy! Wow. Okay. There it goes. See that? And this will burn for a little bit, so you can actually use it to get your kindling going. Uh, it's not just going to be like a little piece of paper that's just like that gone. It's still going now, and it's the flame's actually getting quite a bit bigger. I don't know if you can see that. We're filming in the day so that we can actually see in the camera, but that's pretty cool. All right, while that's burning there, I'm going to get the next one going to play with the little torch. Now, with butane. That was a little easier. If you're looking for a fire starter kit like this, check out Bushcraft. This is pretty dang cool. Uh, there are some times that we get these products sent to us and they don't work. Uh, so we don't film them. We only let you guys know about the ones we actually like. So th this is awesome. That one's really going. If you're looking for something like this, check out Bigfoot Bushcraft. Pretty cool stuff. One of those, you know, gifts that not everybody has. So whether it's a butane torch or some fire starter kit. If I was backpacking, this would be awesome. Cause it's kind of nice to have a sink. Yeah. Figured I should wash up, get our dinner going. Then do some chicken legs. Chicken legs, little banana squash, fresh green salad. Yeah, nothing too fancy, but nothing should be good. Nothing too fancy. Early the next morning. We had our first night uh, in our new mattress insider sheets. These are our custom sheets that fit our mattress basically perfectly. <laughs> uh, when we first stayed in the trailer, we had some other sheets that we just threw on and they were so baggy. <laughs> I, I ended up like getting my feet like caught in them in the night because they were just, just so baggy and uh, the pockets were like an extra deep pocket and uh, anyways, these are so nice to have. They're just nice and cozy. This morning I did not want to get up. <laughs> it just felt really good just to lay in bed and just, just be nice and cozy. So I wanted to show you how these, I mean, are fitted sheets. Everybody knows how fitted sheets work. But they are special made for our four inch 
whatever this is for a four and a half inch mattress. So they fit around it perfectly. It does have a little bit of extra that kind of tucks underneath really good elastic to hold them down. Uh, but that's what makes them so nice and fitted and not shifting around. And like I mentioned, getting stuck in my feet cause they were extra baggy. Um, they are made specifically for this mattress literally to fit like a glove. The really cool thing about Mattress Insider is they can make not only mattresses for boats, RVs, uh, anything you need to sleep in, uh, the sheets as well that fits the custom mattress you're making for. We are once again so happy <laughs> we went with Mattress Insider. We've now used them for I think four years. Um, we've had a mattress made for our fifth wheel, sheets for our fifth wheel. We love those as well. Um, and we're obviously loving this setup that we have now. Uh, we will leave our discount code in the bottom in the description for you. Check them out and save some money with Mattress Insider. Another trip coming to an end. A lot of fun to get out here for the night with the bean. It's just so easy and convenient. Loved our new sheets. Got to play around with some new things for the bean and try to figure out the setup. <laughs> yeah, this morning was a little uh, chaotic to say the least. <laughs> yeah, we need to change the organization a bit, I think. It's just yeah. one of those things, whenever you get a new trailer, figuring out where you want to put stuff. When you're at your house, you think, oh, that's how I want it. And then when you get out camping, you're like, oh, that's not working. A few things to adjust, but Overall, another great experience. Comment below, what do you think? Do you, do you prefer to get out here in boondock in the middle of nowhere? Or are you more like we used to be, RV parks, that sort of stuff? Thanks again for catching this episode. We truly appreciate the viewership. And as always, enjoy your weekend.